Hi, so I can't swim. Pools are fine if I can reach the bottom of the pool and comfortably stand when I need to. I don't know what exactly went wrong somewhere in between high school and now because swimming sports used to be my preferred school sport event. High jump who? I just want to skim the lanes and win the race. Well, I always came last, but I had a lot of fun swimming, alright? So after leaving high school and joining the real world, it soon became apparent that if I was going to stay good at stuff, I needed to do them on my own. I'm lazy! As if I was gonna do that. I just did what all the first years at university did and partied once or twice and then I stayed at home for the rest of the year and cried. But I didn't cry a river because then I would drown. I never thought much about swimming just as a general thing until I was in second year which was last year in 2019 aka the year my life fell apart and I had to learn how to trust people again. I mean it was great, great great year, yeah I loved it, let's do it again. <laughs> Early in the year when it was still relatively hot because southern hemisphere, some friends and I decided to go to the beach. That's fun, right? Sunbathing, playing in the sand, and of course, swimming in the ocean. I've never been afraid of the ocean and I'm still pretty chill with it, but I will never go full on swimming in the sea ever again. Nothing past the knees, you hear me? I haven't been swimming in at least two full years and I've also never swam in the ocean before. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, well first of all, there were no flags or lifeguards or many people around. Yeah, in hindsight, I should have just not been such an idiot. We kind of just threw our hands and went there. And then we ran in. New Zealand's oceans, especially in the South Island, are ice cold. Reminder, we share this water with the South Pole. I was turning into a very convincing block of ice, but it didn't matter because I soon got used to the cold and I was having fun. And then everyone started moving forward. I was still splashing in the little waves and then when I looked ahead, the others were swimming around in these monster waves threatening to eat them whole. I wanted to join them, but I knew I have never swum in the ocean before. So then this happened. Swim in the ocean. Oh, 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 so now you wanna start listening to me. Do you realize how many times you have just ignored me? So I decided to swim. It was fine for the first few minutes and then everyone started heading back. Crazy rude, but carrying on. I start to head back too and I tried to stand up so I can walk to shore, but it was too deep. I then did what any adult would do in this situation and calmly screamed. On the shore, not many of my friends could actually hear me, but one of them saw me and then turned away and started packing up. Excuse me? As if me, flailing in the ocean, unable to have the strength to swim back, wasn't enough of a reason to even alert the others that I was probably in danger. So yeah, we're not friends anymore. Though after I exhausted myself and tried to stay afloat, my superhero mad lad friend, um, giving fake names because of privacy, Amy. Yeah, Amy walks through the waves in wide strides of confidence and heroism, slings me over her shoulder and we swim back together. Looking back at it, if worst came to worst and there was literally no one there to save me, I probably could have just taken a breather and really pushed through it. But having Amy with me really helped and now I'm never swimming in the ocean again. Never again. See? I'm content with just splashing in the waves. I don't think that any level of risk is worth swimming unsafely in the ocean. So please, 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 if you do swim at beaches, just be safe. Go in there are heaps of others, swim between the flags and listen to lifeguards because there's nothing worse than when you go a little too far out and it's a gamble of anyone's actually going to be able to help you. I got lucky. So from now on, I'm gonna be chilling in the spa pool because that's more my speed. I hope you enjoyed this video. I like these little short story times, so I'll share more in the future. Also, I have a Patreon. I forgot to announce it in my previous video, but yes, yeah, so if you want to support me there, you're welcome to. I have a $1 and a $5 tier, but I also have public channels on my Discord, so if you want to join those, also feel free. The link is just in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to see more of me. I appreciate all of the support. And also, the world is a bit of a mess right now. <laughs> I hope everyone's able to stay safe and healthy and also comfortably self-isolate. It's not the most ideal situation and it's definitely not the best, but as long as we're all staying kind, getting along and being there for each other, that's the most important thing, as long as we're there for each other. I'm very grateful to everybody who has been chatting with me and checking up during this time. I wish everyone good health and positive vibes are coming your way. Okay, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!